Hey everybody, Kyle Gothi here from GoatFilmReviews.com and you're at the Goat Film Reviews YouTube channel. So just a little piece of news I wanted to celebrate today. Got my Jigsaw shirt on right here. Uh, in Spiral, the upcoming ninth installment of the Saw franchise has officially been rated R. Filed this one under non-news, but I thought it was worth talking about. Officially, the uh, the rating is, let me just read this real quick here, sequences of grisly, bloody violence and torture, pervasive language, some sexual references, and brief drug use. Now, any other horror movie franchise where they've been repeatedly under R's, this would be, again, non-news. I do think there's something at least slightly worth talking about here because of the fact that Spiral from the Book of Saw is a very weird sequel. Um, so far, we don't know a ton about it. We have our, our teaser trailer that popped up. We have our poster. We know it's not titled Saw 9. We also know that Chris Rock, uh, comedian uh, and actor, uh, is a big fan of the Saw franchise and helped craft the story which then Josh uh, Stolberg and Pete Goldfinger ended up writing a draft for. Now, number two, these guys wrote Jigsaw, the eighth installment, although it's not assumed that these two will have a lot of connective tissue uh, as far as, like, where the story's going. It's not going to be a continuation of that eighth film. So, again, non-news here, but for me, this solidifies that uh, Spiral is going to be a straight horror movie. Yes, Chris Rock is going to have some interesting comedic bits, I'm sure, thrown in there. He's going to have fun with this kind of movie. Um, you know, I may, maybe one of the things that I, I've, I think my wife has not been interested in watching the later Saw films because she just said they're too damn, uh, depressing, you know, like there's bad people having bad things done to them, but they could do good things and it, the, the horrible things that happen to these characters. And again, I'm a big fan, so I watch them all when she's not around, but for me, this solidifies the horror notation that this is going to have. Um, and for me, it, it calms my nerves a bit about what this sequel is going to be. Um, overall, again, backing up, I like the trailer, I like the poster, and so having it rated R, again, just kind of tells me what we're in for, for a, a new version of the same story, um, so, you know, feel calm and, and be ready for the excitement that Jigsaw's, uh, latest outing is going to give us. So, again, the film drops May 15th, 2020, so we are less than three months away from it, um, directed by Daryl Lynn Bowsman, who did Saw's 2, 3, and 4, then took a break and did a lot of other, uh, smaller horror films before returning here, um, overall, very excited again. Uh, I can't wait to see Chris Rock interacting with Sam Jackson. You want to play games, mother... Um, I'm so excited to see how this uh, this film turns out. And I'm wondering your guys' thoughts too. Comment below. Uh, is this not news to you? Does it make you feel better? Are you a Saw fan or are you not a Saw fan? Let me know in the comments below if you're even planning on seeing Spiral from the Book of Saw, which drops May 15th. Um, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. And check out all my film reviews on GoatFilmReviews.com. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. 